I guess before this video starts, I just want to give a quick disclaimer. The content provided in these tutorials is intended for educational purposes only. So anyway, let's get started. So today we're going to be doing uh, a lower to SQLite challenge called Banshee. So with Banshee, uh, we're gonna it's going to be using SQLite, as you can see right here, SQLite open. And then we have a query right here, select ID, members where ID equals to admin and PW. We could enter whatever to uh, PW, which is, I'm guessing, the password. And it looks like there seems to be no res restrictions for the most part. There seems to be no filters. But I guess one thing to look out for is that if the query is true, if the query result is true for any part of it, it returns login success. And then later on, we want to be able, I guess, to solve this challenge, we have to be able to whatever we impasse the password has to match to the result password from ID admin. So we're going to have to uh, brute force the password is, I guess, like we've been doing in the previous challenges. So how is this any different from any of the other challenges? It's kind of not. It's almost like the exact same thing what we've been doing. So what we could do is just first put in the parameters of so PW is equal to uh, uh, let's type LS. So you can see LS right now we entered LS. So what we're going to do is just basically do an escape. Now we escape from it. Now, what do we want to add? We want to be able to, for the most part, uh, add or ID is equal to admin and then add length of PW is equal to, let's say one. What we've been doing for the most part, try first guessing the length of the password. So if we do something like this, we do, uh, so it does uh, select ID from where ID is equal to admin and then the password is blank or we do ID is equal to admin and the length of PW equals one. And we keep on doing this until we reach a number, until we figure out the length of it because we don't want to keep, oh, we, it probably is possible to probably just try guessing the length of the password, but we've been doing this previously. I'll go to four. Let's see, uh, I already know what the length is, so let's just go to seven. Still nothing comes out. And then what if we switch it to eight? We see login success. So now we know that the password length is now eight. So what do we do from here? So from here, what, we, what we're supposed to do is basically do the exact same thing that we, we were doing in the past. So I'll just bring out my notepad. And uh, I guess explain it again for like, I don't know how many times I've been explaining this. But since now we're able to guess the length of pw is equal to eight all we need to do is do something like or id is equal to admin and then and the uh, substring of pw and then we're going to be going this this certain value is going to be one at this first value and then second val. This is just pseudocode, so there's nothing to worry about. It's just exp explaining it for the most part. So the first val is basically uh, the index of the of PW. So we know that PW is eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then at the first val, uh, first value is gonna start at one, and we want to guess the second val. So the first val is just gonna be a list of. Uh, so first val is basically a list of numbers from one through eight, and then second val is basically what we're brute forcing. So it's gonna be a starting from I guess a all the way to B, C, D, E, F, G, etc. to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It might start at actually 0, 1, 2, 3, I don't know. Anyway, it's something like, it's just a list of all possible alphanumeric values. And then it goes back to A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So what it's gonna do, first val, and then let's say second val, second val, is now uh, A, and then we're just gonna brute force this every time. So we're gonna be starting at uh, 
copy this, uh, copy this entire line, control C. And then the first val is now going to be one, and the second val is now going to be A. And then we start building up our password value. So our password uh, PW empty PW is equal to an empty string because we don't know what it is initially. So we keep trying this and let's say for example if A is actually a one in our example let's see if A if A is actually a one that means we're gonna add it to our empty PW is now gonna equal to A because we know that's true because it's it's gonna return a login solve or something like that. Or what what is it gonna return? Login success. A login success. If it, that value is true, it's gonna return login success for the most part. And then so empty now is gonna hold A, and then we update our uh, first val to two because we already found what what position at one is. So. This now gets updated to, let's see, we, that's now A. Oh, they just, uh, oh, no, that's because of their space, yeah. Yeah. So now one is A. First vowel is now updated to two. And then uh, second vowel is still going to restart at A. Val is equal to A because we're starting all over again. And then we keep on repeating this. And then maybe in second vowel is not A. Then we go to B. Then we go to C. Then we go to D. Then we go to E. It's like that until we find a certain value. Let's say a second value, uh, the second value is now E. So we add E to it. And now we update first value again. And then first value is now going to go back to three. And then second value is now going to restart back again at A and going to brute force the entire second uh, value, which is a list of all alphanumeric values. And that's basically it. And if you guys want to visualize it, I'll just copy this right here. Second vowel is basically two. Then I guess it's E, no? Yeah. Oh. E, and then we just copy this. And then uh, this vowel is now going to be three. It basically only, so basically only update first vowel when we match with second vowel if not keep on going that's basically it and then if i run my i guess my python script python oh i might need to update my uh my uh what do you call it uh my uh, cookie so inspect applications yeah man my needs to upgrade my cookie value nano uh banshee and then we just need to update my cookie value then we should see this brute force it all the way uh, python 3 banshee So now it's currently running for the most part, but if we see right around here, look. So it's basically what we got for the most part. So if we just exit out right here, close this, go back right here. Oh wait, length of poem. Oh, never mind. It's probably eight. But I still guessed it. My it, it put out log and success, and then if we go back right here, we see at this or an instance uh it was nine i think see look so as substring seven at position seven it's one so that means it was login success so that means that was true for the most part and if at the end we check our final answer should be this so if we just simply copy that and then um put it right here we see that we get Banshee is clear for the most part. And yeah, that's that's the way to solve this challenge for the most part. It's pretty pretty straightforward. Nothing too difficult that like we've been doing in the past. I guess the only thing that's being filtered out is SQLite and members. But yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you guys learned something new. And yeah, uh, peace.